today we're making homemade peanut butter and it tastes even better than the ones that we have store-bought because um, we don't even know if sometimes they are sweetened or what kind of oil were, was used in making them we can have them for breakfast either with our homemade um, keto diet bread or just on their own I have my peanuts um, not roasted we're going to roast them on our own based on our liking I'm going to um, put them on a tray and then leave them for 25 to 30 minutes on medium heat in the oven. Um, leave it um, to roast um, as much as you like it to. I'm going to leave it until it's just a little smoky. And then bring them out to cool down. I'm going to have my grinder ready on the side to grind them. Um, it takes around 8 to 10 minutes to grind them really, really well. I'm going to put just a pinch of salt. You're going to keep um, opening the lids, stirring them together, grinding them again and again. Now, after 2 to 3 minutes of grinding, I'm going to stir them and then put back the lid on and continue to grind them. The more you grind it, the softer it gets. I'm going to have my um, sugar substitute ready on the side. I'm going to put around two tablespoons or as much as you like. And then I'm going to put um, just a little avocado oil or whichever oil of your liking. Then I'm going to grind them even more. I'm just gonna let it grind until it reaches this consistency and it becomes a little creamy. We start seeing the um, peanut butter um, coming out. You can keep it on a jar and put it in the fridge and store it. And it's going to be ready to eat. If you have a diet toast, you can use it on there. You can have it on its own or as a dessert too after lunch. Um, not necessarily every day. You can have it twice um, a week and it's going to be great. This is my homemade keto diet that I had prepped the other day, and I'm going to use it as a toast uh, for my peanut butter. And both together taste just amazing. Try it and let me know how you like it.